In this video, I'm going to go over the five things that you need to do when you're five years away from retirement. Let's get started. Hey there, this is Patrick King with Prana Wealth. On this channel, we cover the strategies, tactics, and mindset shifts to help you build wealth faster so you can make work optional sooner. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you're five years from retirement, or will be soon, now is a great time for a reality check to ensure that you're on track. You still have some time to influence the quality of your retirement and make adjustments if necessary. Winging it is not the optimal strategy. Here are five things to do when you're five years from retirement. Number one, estimate your monthly investment income. As you know, when you stop working, your investments will need to start providing most of your monthly paycheck. But what kind of monthly paycheck can you realistically expect? After all, it will need to last your entire life, a span of up to 30 years or more for some people. Here's a quick process to get a ballpark estimate of the monthly paycheck that your investments can provide. First, add up all of your investment accounts. Subtract six to 12 months of living expenses. This is your emergency fund. Project what your accounts will be in five years. Be sure to factor in your future savings and investment growth, and then multiply that number by 4%. The 4% rule is a heuristic that represents a sustainable retirement portfolio withdrawal rate. If you've done the math up to this point, you will now have an estimate of the sustainable income that your investments can provide over your lifetime. If you divide this number by 12, you now have your monthly retirement paycheck courtesy of your investments. Now that we understand how much you can pay yourself, that leads us to the next item. Number two. Plan your retirement income and taxes. Almost all of us will qualify for Social Security retirement benefits. But in order to make good decisions around your retirement, we'll need accurate numbers. Be sure and visit the Social Security Administration's website to get your latest statement. If you're so lucky to have a pension, now is also a great time to review those benefits and understand the details. Finally, write down any other income that you may have in retirement, such as property rental income. This retirement income, along with your monthly investment income, will give you a general idea of what your retirement budget needs to be. Once you have a good idea of your income, you can work with a CPA to put together a retirement tax plan. Every situation is different, of course, but the timing and sequence of withdrawals from your 401k, IRA, Roth IRA, company benefit plans, can produce a wide array of tax scenarios. Creating a retirement tax plan to time these withdrawals can save you thousands over your retirement, as well as create strategic tax opportunities along the way, such as the occasional Roth IRA conversion at a lower tax rate. Number three, price out healthcare. Speaking of retirement expenses, we need to address the elephant in the room, healthcare. Retiring at age 65 or later can have a big impact since you immediately qualify for Medicare. But Medicare may not cover all of your health care expenses. For that reason, it's a good idea to include Medigap insurance coverage in your plan. The majority of clients that I've helped through retirement have purchased Medigap insurance. While these policies aren't overly expensive, it's important to factor the premiums into your retirement budget. What if you're retiring before age 65? Well you will need to buy an individual health insurance policy. If you've been on a group plan, you may have some sticker shock when you shop for an individual policy, even if you're using the Affordable Care Act marketplace. Finally, be sure and make a plan for long-term care expenses. These expenses can be difficult to estimate since they are, hopefully, far out into the future. That being said, they can also be pretty significant expenses, so planning is key. We don't want you to have to resort to using Medicaid for the last years of your life. Number four, create a retirement budget. If you've done the work up until this point, you already have a pretty good idea of how much money you'll have coming in every month. The next step is to create a retirement budget. The idea is pretty simple. Would you be able to afford your current lifestyle with your retirement income? Will you need to cut back? If so, how much? 
Without going through this process, a new retiree may, at first, get the false sense of security that he or she is doing fine. After all, they started out with a big old pot of money. In reality, they're spending more than they can sustain over the long term. It's heartbreaking to see retirees struggle in the middle of retirement, but it happens. I've had clients that, in spite of my best efforts to encourage them to budget, still spent more than what was sustainable. Going beyond the normal month-to-month -month expenses, how will you handle one-time expenses like buying a new car, remodeling your home, or some unforeseen emergency? Remember that money that we put aside to cover six to 12 months of living expenses? Creating a retirement budget will affect those calculations, so you may need to go back and adjust. Your expenses may not always be even during retirement, depending on how active you are in certain years. With a retirement budget, you're creating the discipline that comes along with having a plan. While you may have to course correct at some point, even a small amount of planning today can stave off disaster later. Number five, make a plan for your debt. As a fiduciary financial advisor, I tend to be pretty conservative when it comes to debt. I encourage all of my clients to work towards being debt-free or close to it when they retire. After you've created your retirement budget, think about making a plan for your debt. If you're five years away from retirement, how can you eliminate all of your consumer debt before you retire? This includes credit cards, auto loans, or any other type of debt associated with personal use assets. What about your mortgage? It's okay to have a mortgage in retirement. I've seen plenty of people include their monthly mortgage within their retirement budget, but having it paid off is nice. There's a psychological benefit to being completely debt-free once you start living off of your investments. Once you've done all this, it's now time to lather, rinse, and repeat. One thing that you may have recognized is that after making a decision about how to handle one of these items, you may need to go back through this process again and adjust. Your debt plan may affect your investment income, which may affect your retirement budget. This is the essence of creating a good financial plan. It's an iterative process. Of course, you can always hire a financial advisor to help guide you through this process. Retirement is something that a financial advisor can help you get right the first time. How much is your peace of mind worth? Prana Wealth is a fee-only financial advisor based in Atlanta that works virtually with clients across the U.S. If you're not working with a financial advisor, or if you're unhappy with your current one, please visit us at pranawealth.com to set up a quick complimentary introduction call to see if we are potentially a good fit. We do have some availability to bring on new clients this year. Five years can give you time to make adjustments if needed. Unfortunately, too many people wait until the last minute to start their retirement planning. If you can address these five things when you're five years away from retirement, you'll create a much less stressful experience. If you found this video to be helpful, please help me grow my channel by liking this video and subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.